Hi, my name is Donna Stanley. I'm with Endless Mount Labradors. I've been breeding Labradors for 30 years. I'm also an AKC Breeder of Merit, and I like to cover topics here on my video blogs that I get almost on a daily basis from people, and they are the most often or frequently asked questions that I get. And one of those is, why is my dog peeing in the house? Or why was it fine for a while and never peed in the house, and now it pees in the house? And I gotta tell you, one of the funniest things that happens to me is we have a lot of friends with dogs so they kind of know that when they come to our house that dogs are welcome but when they walk in the door I always tell them your dog is gonna pee in my house and they look at me and they go no that my dog would never pee in the house my dog never pees in the house not only so they let the dog go and not only does the dog pee in my house but it takes a crap in my house and they're like oh my god and I'm like I told you peeing is a way of marking it's saying I'm here it's a dog pack thing. If you wanna understand dog packs and dog behavior, it's a really good book on the market by some monks, um, actually the monks of New Skeet. New Skeet is the monastery they're from, and they raise German shepherds to support the monastery, and they have a book called How to Be Your Dog's Best Friend. They also have one called The Art of Raising a Puppy, which I recommend to people too. Read the other one first if you wanna understand dog behavior. But if you've got, let's just say, a female dog, and I have one specifically who's very apt to this, but she's gotten better because I've constantly exposed her to this change in my house. But my Amy will pee if another female comes in the house very often. And she is very alpha. Um, she kind of is the queen of the house, queen of the kennel. She's one of the larger females too, and she knows it. So she will pee if another female comes in the house. Now I have exposed her to several different females over the last year and she has stopped doing that but if your dog has never had that happen they will want to say this is my place this is my house you just entered my territory so I'm gonna pee and show you so they may do it for that if you have two males and a female walks in they're gonna pee because they're gonna be saying she's mine no she's mine so those are some of the behavioral things that can cause that. If there's been a change in your family, like a new baby, or anything that changes, and your dog starts peeing after that, take that into consideration as maybe one of the reasons it's doing that, okay? So let's move from behavioral to possibly physiological. Check your dog to make sure it doesn't have a UTI. UTI will cause it to have to pee all the time and you won't be able to keep up with the amount of times it needs to get outside. So that would be something I would check right away. And by the way, I highly recommend not doing antibiotics. You're gonna have all kinds of side effects. I've been able to wipe out UTI infections within days using a capsulized cranberry. Not the juice, not the sugar drink, but real cranberry, either in a ground form or in a gel capsule. There's two great products. You can literally get at Rite Aid. AZO or Azo Cranberry is a great one. Um, you'll want to adjust it for the weight of your dog based on what a human takes. Um, but remember, encapsulized cranberry is an herb and you can't overdo it if it's just the encapsulized cranberry. Use at least three capsules a day, uh, I'm sorry, twice a day with your dog. If it's a small dog, maybe one to two capsules twice a day. If it's a larger dog, you may want to take that up to five or six capsules twice a day, but you will wipe that out so fast and not have you know, the residual yeast infection or all the other side effects like diarrhea that can come with doing the antibiotics for that. The other thing could be possibly um, crystals in the um, bladder. And I had one little terrier one time, and we always have a rescue dog in the house or a mutt, um, even though we breed labs. And she just started peeing all the time. And finally I was like, you know, we've rolled out a UTI. There's nothing behavioral going on here. We went, we had her x-rayed and come to find out her bladder was just packed with these crystals. So there was like no room for urine. So she had to pee all the time. So they had to do surgery and they took the crystals out. And then we made sure that we fed a low ash food after that so the crystals would not come back. And if your dog is on a low ash food, like the Flint River, uh, Flint River Ranch dog food that we recommend, or the raw diet that we recommend on our website, um, you won't have that problem. You won't have to worry about that. So there, 
Those are a few reasons that your dog may be peeing in the house. If you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. More importantly, um, if you've learned something and you've enjoyed this, please subscribe. We have a window on the screen here. You can click subscribe and that way you'll get all the latest videos, all the fun videos we do, like music videos with our dogs and cute little instructional videos about training puppies, training dogs, and then also these instructional videos as well. Thanks so much for listening and I hope that this will help cure your problem if you have a peer.